the one thing that I want to tell you about is how to get a beautiful crispy skin turkey in about an hour and 15 minutes. We're going to spatchcock this thing. It's going to be rough, you guys. Just hang on. Okay, I'm going to take the wingtips off because uh, nobody really eats them and I'm going to make a turkey broth at the same time as my turkey is cooking. So that's why my Instant Pot is here. So you just... This tool is pretty heavy duty. I wouldn't do this with normal kitchen shears because you really want the leverage. All right, so I'm going to take these guys and put them in here. All right, I'm going to turn this over. Now we're going to cut out the spine. You cut out the spine and then the whole thing becomes flat. So take your scissors and just take your time, one little snip at a time. I like to do it about a day ahead of time because um, then the skin has a chance to dry out in my refrigerator, but you don't have to. You really can just start cooking this turkey two hours before you're ready to eat. So then I take this and I just add it straight to the Instant Pot. The flavors of turkey, I like the best seasoned really, really, really simply with just salt and pepper. And I ground this ahead of time because I knew that my hands were gonna be really um, like messy with turkey. And I just wanna encourage everybody to season really well. And that's it for that. I'm gonna add some thyme. It'll just give a little bit of extra flavor to the whole thing. Okay, so turn it over. Now, this is my favorite part. I'm gonna flatten it. The flatter it is, the faster it cooks. Don't stand on it, but you do wanna apply all of the pressure from your body. So I have uh, an apple box back here that I'm standing on. You'll hear it pop. Now I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna loosen the skin from the rest of the bird and I'm going to put so much butter in here. This is not for the faint of heart. You don't have to put your fingers underneath the skin if it's too much for you. You could just put the butter on the outside of the bird and it will be really delicious and will turn golden brown. I'm gonna do it. So you just take the butter, you just stuff it underneath the skin and then I'm gonna just use my hands to flatten the butter once it's in there. This is salted butter because the salt will also season the inside of the bird. Okay, so I'm gonna season the skin with salt and pepper generously. I salt from up high. So I have my hot pan. I'm gonna take it out of the oven. It's 450 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten it out. So the thing that you wanna know about this is this is a little bit of an unusual presentation. Like when you think of a Norman Rockwell Thanksgiving, you have a round turkey. So this, when you want to present it, you want it to look decent and however you put it in the pan is how it's going to end up. So just make sure that it looks symmetrical and nice. So we're ready to cook. So in about an hour, my house is gonna smell amazing. Woo, look at this. This is so nice. It smells super good. The two most important things that you wanna do are throw this plastic thermometer that comes with your turkey into the garbage because it's not a good way to measure the temperature. It goes off when your turkey's already overcooked and use a digital thermometer. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can just be any kind of thermometer that is for meat. You wanna measure it at the thickest part of the breast. So you wanna put it in about an inch and a half and you just wait for the temperature to rise until it stops. And that should be about 158 or 160. Uh, and then when you're arresting the meat, the juices will redistribute so that they don't come all running out of your turkey when you cut it. And the temperature will rise about five degrees over those 20 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna carve it. It's rested for 20 minutes. I've already set up my platter and I'm not doing this at the table side, which is stressful for people. While your Aunt Susan judges you, it's better to just do it in the kitchen. Okay, so just as my reward before I go into the other room, I'm gonna eat this part. Before you go in the other room? Yeah, before I serve this turkey. It's so good, it's so, so, so good. It's juicy, it's like tender, it's like super crackly. It's like the best, it's the best turkey. If you like this video or if you have a really, really good way that you love making turkey, follow us at, what do you do? You subscribe, yeah. 
you subscribe. Yeah. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.